Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tomato Chunks, and I am back again on the new Germany map. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to complete the new Easter egg that Nelson recently added to the game called The Secrets of New Schwanstein. At least I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. So, the first thing you guys got to do is there are three teleporter cables that you got to collect all around the map. And uh, then you got to put them into uh, a teleporter in the tunnels of Berlin. So to get the first teleporter cable, you're going to want to come to this uh, crash train uh, near the Ostsee compound, kind of in the top right corner of the map. And you are going to want to go over to this red crate over here. <laughs> and remember, it's the one that, that fell off fell off the train and you're going to want to open it and the first teleporter cable is right here you just want to click F pick it up and as you can see it's not in my inventory it's like a quest item so even if you die you won't lose it it'll just kind of stay with you and the next place we got to go is cologne you guys want to make sure you have a gas mask so I'm just gonna put that on because it is a dead zone and I do not want to die all right, now that you're in Cologne, you're gonna have a gun so you can kill some of the zombies. All right, so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to try to find this kind of like pipe thing, or maybe it's a crash plane. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's mm -hmm. like right after you come in the entrance, you'll see it just sitting right there. And just like the last one, you're just going to want to walk right up to it, pick it up, and it will not be in your inventory, but don't worry, because you do have it. And the next one that we need to go and get is in Berlin. It is over in these rocks over here. You have to swim underwater. Okay, so after you come over to these rocks on the map like I have, you are going to want to have a headlamp or a flashlight or a tactical light on your weapon or some sort of light so you can see. So you're going to have to swim into an underwater tunnel in there. Okay, and after you have your diving tank on, you also want to also upgrade your diving skill right here. Um, and you can also wear a snorkel, but I'm wearing a headlamp, so I can't put that on. You can wear a snorkel if you use like a flashlight or a tack light. And you're going to want to swim right down here. You're going to want to turn the light on, and you, go, and you uh, should go fast so that you don't uh, drown. Because that would not be fun. And you're going to want to swim through the cave. Then you will find the third and final teleporter cable right here. And you pick it up. Then you just swim right back out. Okay, so now that you have all three of the teleporter cables, you're going to want to come to this exact spot in Berlin. Right here. And you're going to want to go right down the tunnel. Or down the ladder, I mean not down the tunnel. And you're going to need a headlamp or a flashlight or some sort of light. Or you can use night vision and just walk down the tunnel. Now it's you're gonna want to you're gonna have to take the first turn on your right. So not this first one on your left. It's your first one on the right. So you just gotta run all the way through the tunnel. And it's not this part either. Keep running after you see that. Turn all the way down through the sewers until you reach this point right here. Oh no, this is a zombie. I gotta be stealthy. Okay, we dodged that zombie. You're going to come to this area right here, and you'll see a hole in the wall right here. And this is the teleporter room. And if you look on the left side, you'll see this yellow box, and you got to place all three teleporter cables right like this. And if you don't have all three of them, it will not work. See, this changed colors, and now I can use the teleporter. And you're going to have to have your gun out, though so that the zombie does not kill you. Now you just press blue light and you will know that it worked. And 
then you will be teleported right to this room. And you will see the zombie right there. And I guess you just start shooting it. Now you guys want to be careful because this zombie boss, he can spit fire like that. He can spit acid. He can do a ground pound. And he can also shoot lightning at you. So you gotta, you gotta be very careful and make sure you have a lot of med kit. Okay. So now that the zombie is dead, he will drop a bunch of loot like a normal mega zombie. But after you kill him, you're gonna want to run over here into this side room with all like the wine racks and stuff. And your sword will be on the wall right here. And you can pick up the why hander it's going to be in your inventory and look at that it's a one by four. Ooh yes okay now to get the achievement that nelson added for doing this easter egg the only way to get it is after you've completed this and gotten the sword you just have to click use teleporter to go back and it will give you the achievement but since I have already completed it, uh, I don't I don't get the achievement. But if you do it for the first time, you will get the achievement. Now I think that we should run back up and test out how our sword does against some zombies. All right, now that we are back up here, we're gonna test out the new sword. Okay, let's just try to attract one zombie. Come here. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do the normal hit first. I'm gonna test it in the head. Oh, one shots. Although to be fair, I deal with my overkill all the way up. All right, let's try it in the chest. Oh. One. All right, so two shots in the chest. Let's see if I do the stronger attack. In the chest, it will one shot it. Nope, still a two shot. I mean, it's still a pretty good weapon considering it is a melee weapon. So, I mean, one shotting head's pretty good. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm Tomato Chunks, and I'm out.